Alright guys, this will be an easy video. We have a uh, 2000 Beaver Patriot, but it really doesn't matter. Most diesel uh, RVs are going to use the exact same ignition switch. It's a GM uh, ignition switch. So this, uh, there's the uh, part number for that from Napa. It's just a pretty GM kit ignition switch. You can see the GM key right there. So if we take a look at it, this is how it mounts in the dash. I already took it out. And that's what the plug looks like. So this part just screws off. That's what clamps it in. But you have to get the tumbler out, otherwise this collar gets stuck. It can't go any further because of that chrome ring on the uh, on the tumbler. So you screw that back in. Put the key in. And then get a high-tech tool or paper clip. Put it in the tiny little hole right there. You're going to make sure the key's in the uh, middle position. Let's see that. Accessory, start, accessory, off, and then, let's see, that's off, and then that should be back accessory. So in that position. Now we can push down. You should be able to feel a spring-loaded little pin that goes down. Alright, so as you push it, you just turn the key to the left, and the whole thing will pop out. There's a little uh, button that we're pushing right there. Now, when we unscrew this, it's not captured anymore. I try to put the tumbler through, so it gets stuck, it's captured. So that little guy keeps you from popping it off. Now I can tell you if you're aggressive enough, that stainless steel uh, cap on it, focus. You can just uh, pry it off, but then it looks like garbage. You'll probably see a couple of diesels that look like that. So then to put it back together, it's just gonna be plug and unplug. There's two little clips. You just squeeze that one and squeeze that one. And there's so many connections back there that uh, you'll need a prying device. Sometimes you break it. But that's okay. This is the old one anyways. So there's a spacer block that goes on it. And it is keyed with a flat side. Right there. And then that just goes ahead and goes through there. And then you're just gonna line everything up and start tightening it. No, obviously you should hold the back so that it doesn't spin. So yeah, I'm spinning the inside or the the back side. And so that's why when you go into a diesel motorhome and you go to turn the key, the whole switch switches or uh, turns. That's because <laughs> there's no uh, no detent or anything that keeps it from turning. And last thing we have to do is put the key back in. It's pretty straightforward. Just going to only go in one direction. And there we go. Alright guys, so there it is. That was a pretty straightforward job. We needed one of those. Works on most uh, most diesel motorhomes have the exact same uh, switch setup. Some might have a little bit different uh, key if that's a Freightliner key, but it works the same. And uh, while I'm on this uh, subject of ignition keys on a diesel, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a heads up, okay? None of these diesels have a steering lock incorporated into the ignition switch. So this switch from Napa, you could pick up fairly inexpensively, unplug it from the back of a motorhome, put your own switch in, and uh, drive down the road. Uh, I don't hear too much of people doing that, but it's just, you know, food for thought.